Hey guys, Sushix here, bringing you an animation tutorial on the basics of Minecraft animation with Cinema 4D. Uh, what I'm going to cover is how to import your Minecraft saves into Cinema 4D, how to add the textures to the blocks, and how to set your lighting and render settings to make the scene look really good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off with Mineways. What you're going to do is just download the program. Uh, it'll be in the description below. And um, you're going to get uh, this program here, and it's going to have all these uh, this extra stuff, which you're just going to ignore for the moment. Um, you're going to go into Mineways, and you're going to get this uh, window here. Um, now, you're going to open World, and you want to choose whatever world that you, you built whatever you want to put into your animation. So if you built a specific house that you want to animate, you're going to choose the world that has it. I'm just going to go into, uh, what have I got here? Uh, uh, stream creative, let's just go into that. So this has just got the whole world here. As you can see the desert, and the forest, and the jungle, and the mountains, and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to just grab a, uh, a random part. Why don't we grab maybe this part here. And then it's going to come up with this, uh, most of the time. You're just going to ignore this. Uh, it's just going to set the depth. But you really don't need to bother with that. See? you just muck around with this slider here, this is gonna like put how low it's gonna cut off. So if you see here, if I, if I drag it up, it's the purple bit's only on the tip of that mountain, so that's all it's going to render out, so we don't want that, we want the, the whole the whole land, so I'll have it at about 58, and the max height you don't really need to worry about, because uh, even if you cut this down, you're just cutting down nothing. So you're cutting down nothingness. At least if you cut this bit off, you're cutting a bunch of blocks that would be either bedrock or whatever, um, that would just add more polygons and make the, the rendering process even longer. So once you've got uh, your little area, by right clicking and dragging, if I didn't explain that before, you're going to uh, you're gonna, you're gonna want to export it for rendering. Um, now if you wanted to use a different texture pack, you're going to use select terrain PNG and select your own texture pack. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the normal one for now. So you're going to go export for rendering and you're going to choose where to save it. So I'll just save as tutorial and then you're going to get this and you should basically just leave everything as it is. Uh, you don't want to really touch much of this. Just make sure that you're exporting the materials and um, but that should already be default. Now you press OK, it's going to uh, render it out and there you go, you've got it. So I'm going to go back into here. Um, so it's under tutorial, uh, this bit here, ignore everything else that I've got. Uh, but we do have tutorial and like all these things, so tutorial.mtl, an obg file, alpha, rgb and rgba. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our Cinema 4D and it's going to be like this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to drag your tutorial or whatever you called it, obg file, into your Cinema 4D. Now it's going to get this little window here. I scale it to a thousand centimeters because of the rigs that I use. Um, but, uh, but, I mean, I'm using the Weed Lines rig, so if you're going to be using that, scale it to a thousand, otherwise you might want to muck around with how big you scale it. So you press OK, and you're going to get this world here, and it's going to look all grey, with no colour, and, uh, and you know, it looks kind of, uh, it looks kind of shit. If we're going to render this out, that's what it is. That's what you get. So, how are we going to, uh, how are we going to add all the textures, which is the next step, is you're going to double click on the first, uh, the first texture here. And first of all, you're going to highlight all of them from there. So you got all of them highlighted. Next, you want to get rid of specular because we don't need that at all. Um, and then you, once you're on the color tab, make sure you're on the color tab. Go into texture. And you're going to choose a picture. Now I'm going to go into uh, the folder where I, I saved the tutorial thing. It was actually ooh, which one was it? I think it was under tutorial. Yep. Okay. And then it's tutorial. And you're going to get you're going to have these three picture files. Uh, you want to put for the the color, you're going to put tutorial RGB. And then you want to set the sampling to none. That's just going to make it like really crisp and stuff and it's not blurry. Um, next you want to go to alpha. And you want to go to the same folder, except you want to get the RGBA. Not the alpha file, the RGBA. And then do the same thing with the sampling, make it none. And you've basically, you've added the textures now. So if we're going to, if we render it out now, it's still not looking good because we haven't done the lighting or anything, but uh, at least it's got some color and it's got some texture on it. So next what we're going to do is we're going to add the sky. Now this is pretty simple, um, but if you don't know exactly what you're doing, you can kind of get lost and make a really shitty looking sky. So you're going to make another texture by just double clicking this little box here. 
Um, and then you open the properties of it, get rid of Specular. You always want to get rid of Specular because it's kind of a shit for Minecraft animations. Uh, next you want to go to Texture, and you want to go to a Gradient. And then double click on the Gradient, and then go to Type and make it V, so it's vertical. Um, and this is just going to add the, the, the kind of, I don't know, atmosphere of it. So you're going to go to like a lightish blue. I mean, you can change the color if it's like nighttime and stuff, but you want to go for a lightish blue. And then for this side of the, the slider, you want to make it like even white. You could use a white. So just blue. Um, just blue or white for that one. And then you want to make this like a nice sky color. So about like, I don't know, uh, about this. So you've got that nice gradient. Um, then you want to close that, you want to go into Create, Environment, and Sky. Some people use a physical sky, I personally don't, but if you want to look into that, it's 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 not worse, um, it's just different. Uh, now, now you've got your sky, so if we render that out, you have a sky, yay! Um, also, you want to be careful here, if you've got water, as you can see, I uh, I made the, like, how, uh, how low you cut it off, I made it, like, just below where the land starts. So under the water, it's see-through. Um, so you might want to just be careful of that. Obviously, I'm not taking this uh, too seriously. I'm not going to be using this for an animation, so I'm not really that worried. But uh, you guys probably are. So you just want to make sure that the bottom of your your water isn't see-through. You want to make sure there's some sort of land under it. Um, so now, next, what we're going to do is basically uh, add uh, some lighting and then do the render settings. So how we're going to do that is add light object, and you want to go infinite light. Uh, you can muck around with some of the other light settings, but I personally use infinite light. Um, next, this little object here, this is your light, and this uh, dot, this yellow dot right there, that's the direction of the light. So if we just move it down this way, all the lights going down like diagonal now and it doesn't matter where you actually put the the light it's infinite so it'll be everywhere in that direction no matter no matter where you put the actual light so I'm gonna make it kinda like this um, that looks about right that's fine um, then you wanna click on the light and over here you want to go to shadow and make it either hard or soft you can choose this is personal preference you wanna muck around with it and see which one you like best I personally use hard um, and then sometimes, like, sometimes if you're not using an actual Minecraft, uh, world, you don't want to change the color of it because it can look kind of weird, but if you're using the Minecraft world, especially with a blue sky, you might want to change the color of, uh, the light to, like, a, kind of like a sunnish color. And if it's kind of annoying me, um, you can just double click this little circle up in the corner here and make it red, so just while you're looking in the preview, you won't show the actual light. Um, because sometimes it annoys me and I just turn it off. And then you kind of don't want to touch anything else here. I might go into uh, lens flares and stuff on another episode. But this is where you kind of do all of that. This is where you do lens flares and stuff like that. Um, so if we want to look again, we want to render it out. See, now we've got some shadows. It's looking a little bit better, but it's still it's still missing something. Um, so we're going to go... This is where all the render settings comes in. So this is where it's kind of important. First of all, for your output, you want to have it either 1280 by 720 or if you want to go that extra extra mile, you want to go uh, 1920 by 1080. That's the that's 1080p. Um, that's the highest resolution that you can put on uh, on YouTube. Um, next for your save, you don't really need to worry about this. I mean, if you're doing an animation, the best you're probably going to do is QuickTime Movie. Then you just name it. Um, you don't need to worry about Alpha Channel at the moment. Um, that's that's all you need for save. Multipass, ignore, anti-aliasing. All you want to change in that is put the anti-aliasing to best, and that's just going to make the corners of it uh, a bit smoother, and it's just going to look overall better. And um, these options, you don't really need to muck around with these unless you're trying to make the render time even even like uh, shorter. Um, but I might go into that another episode. I personally don't touch these. Um, but the things that are going to make it look really good is two effects. You want to add ambient occlusion, which is up the top, and then global illumination. Um, and just a quick twit. Whoa, okay, just a quick tip. If you go into global illumination, go into the irradiance cache. Uh, I say cache, but whatever. Um, and then you go to stochastic samples and record density. If you change those to low, both of them, you're not going to notice any difference in quality, but it's going to increase the render time. I mean, it's going to shorten the render time um, by a decent amount. So I do that um, just to just to speed up the rendering time. Um, and that's all you're going to need. So we're going to render this out again. I might go a bit closer. It doesn't render that long. But see, you can see it's rendering now. It was pretty quick. 
and then uh, and then as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Um, I personally actually remove that uh, long grass because I feel it looks a bit weird. Um, you could probably muck around with it to make it look better, but uh, you probably won't see it in many of my animations. Personally, like I just I just don't like it in uh, in animations. But uh, there you go. That's how you get the Minecraft world, and then you can also muck around with camera settings and stuff, which I might do in another episode, um, which can add like the blur in the background and uh, and and then the, you know and the camera and the lens flares and stuff like that. But uh, that's probably going to be it, guys. Thanks for wa watching the first episode. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below or tweet them at me. Uh, my Twitter is at official sushix. Um, and yeah, definitely ask uh, what you want to learn on next episode. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys later. Definitely leave a like below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, yeah, see ya.